Hello there, Pisces. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. We're going to do your general love reading from now through the end of June 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell over there on the side so that you know whenever I go live or put out new content. Feel free to follow me over on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. And I also have a Patreon channel. All of the information to connect with me is down below in the description box, as well as the link to my website where you can set up a personal, private reading with yours truly. So let's see what's in your overall energy. This reading, again, is a general love reading for the sign of Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages will make sense for everyone watching, so just keep an open mind and enjoy the messages. So in your overall energy, Pisces, we have the Maiden, a new relationship blossoms. So this could be brand new love coming in for some of you. Um, this could have been a connection that um, started taking off and got interrupted. Um, but she looks like she's been waiting for a while. Well, let's see about Miss Rapunzel here, sitting in her castle. She's got one last rose here. It's the bachelorette wanting to give her last rose. Or someone gave her a rose and uh, she's wondering where, where he disappeared to. All right, let's see what else for Pisces. A new relationship blossoms. Pisces, please, Spirit. General love reading through the end of June 2020. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. She typically represents Leo, but this is someone who is drop-dead gorgeous. This person could be a businesswoman. Um, she may be higher up in her company, manager, an entrepreneur, but she's a go-getter. She goes after what she wants. Um, she passionately pursues it. Um, when she walks into a room, all heads turn. Men want her. Women want to be her. Um, she knows her worth, and if someone doesn't um, see her worth, she'll find somebody who does. Um, she is very sexy and a lot of fun. She's also magical. She may work in the magical arts. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is Fate, Karma, Destiny. Forward movement, luck, and expansion. Jupiter energy. Um, somebody's closing out a karmic cycle here. Um, someone is moving on. Luck is on their side here. But it's growth and expansion after going through and closing out a tough karmic cycle. Luck is with you, Pisces. And then we've got the Eight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone who's working really hard. This person knows how to manifest infinite abundance here. Uh, someone's been working really hard on themselves. Somebody now wants to put in the time, energy, and effort, that blood, sweat, and tears. Um, growth through um, working on yourself. Expansion, luck. But someone's had to work hard on, hard, to become this go-getter, this entrepreneur. The work that, that somebody's putting in is going to pay off. Someone's happy to do that work. Someone now may want to release an old karmic cycle. They've worked on themselves and um, they finally realize their worth and they're manifesting something new here. Ten of Cups is what you're manifesting. This is emotional bliss and fulfillment with a soulmate. Happiness. It's that happily ever after. Working on something that makes you happy. Okay? 
and it, it helps you grow. So it's about growth and expansion here. And putting in the work because it's going to pay off with an emotionally fulfilling connection. Okay. A new relationship blossoms. And if you put the work in and learn from a past karmic cycle, it could pay off to something that's emotionally fulfilling. On the bottom, we've got the Page of Pentacles, Earth, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This message, a solid offer. We've got another page, the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Sun. Wow. Okay, so this is the very beginning of something that's very real. Um, it starts out with a little bit of flirting, um, but it's from the heart. Somebody's being very sincere here. This could actually be possibly some sort of an apology, uh, but it's a gift. Okay. There's a strong soulmate connection here, and it's the birth of something new, of joy, happiness. You've got Leo energy here with the sun. It's birth of something new, birth of a soulmate connection. Very beginnings here for some of you. Um, and this looks like something that you've been waiting for. This could have been something that got interrupted. It just started out at the very beginning, very small. Someone might need to apologize. Someone, someone is very clear about what they want, but this is har harmony, healing. This is the divine masculine in all of his glory. It's a divine union, soulmate union here. Starting out small. Someone's been working really hard on themselves here. The bottom. Got judgment. This is a second chance. It's karma. Being very discerning. Being very selective. Knowing what you want. What makes you happy? You want something that's emotionally fulfilling. This is a lot of karma here. Closing out a karmic cycle. Someone wants forgiveness, redemption, a second chance. Someone who's awakened. They see the soulmate connection. It may have started out small or there needs to be some sort of an apology. There could This could be actually a renewal and a new beginning. Someone now is opening up. Seeing something that was hidden before, now they realize something. They're shining some light on something, coming out of a dark period. Someone got, got in a wake-up call. This is an awakening. Underneath that sneak peek is Ace of Pentacles. So this is absolutely gorgeous energy here, Pisces. Um, again, it could be new love, there could be children involved, um, there's something very real, something from the heart being offered here, but we're going to take the rest of the story over to Vimeo. I am going to clarify these major arcana, we're going to bring in some advice from Spirit and your love messages. I'll post the link down below. I'll see you there. <laughs> 